हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट रिबजिंस्की थ्योरम दिस थ्योरम बेसिकली स्टेट दैट इफ सप्लाई ऑफ ओनली वन फैक्टर इंक्रीज देन आउटपुट ऑफ गुड्स दैट यूज इज दैट फैक्टर इन लार्जर अमाउंट विल आल्सो इंक्रीज दिस थ्योरम बेसिकली स्टेट दैट इफ सप्लाई ऑफ ओनली वन फैक्टर इंक्रीज देन आउटपुट ऑफ गुड्स दैट यूज इज दैट फैक्टर इन लार्जर अमाउंट विल आल्सो इंक्रीज For example, we have two factor of production, capital and labor. And cloth is labor intensive goods. In production of cloth, we use labor in larger amount. Now suppose only supply of labor increase. As a result, output of cloth will also increase because cloth is labor intensive goods. In production of cloth, we use labor in larger amount. So we can say that according to this theorem, if supply of only one factor increase, then output of goods that uses that factor in larger amount will also increase now we understand this theorem with the help of this edgeworth box diagram in this diagram on x axis on horizontal side on ab and cd we have labor and production of cloth because cloth is labor intensive good in production of cloth we use labor in larger amount and on vertical side on bc and ad we have capital and production of steel because steel is capital intensive good in production of steel we use capital in larger amount so and a a c this red one is our contract curve and this a r line a r dotted line represent capital labor ratio in production of cloth means how much capital or labor we are using in production of cloth it is represented by this a r dotted line and this r c dotted line represent capital labor ratio in production of steel means how much capital or labor we are using in production of steel that is represented by this r c dotted line now suppose supply of capital is constant only increase in labor supply as labor supply increase our edgeworth box diagram expand from ab to ae and from uh, dc to d f means this part be and cf part shows increase in labor supply and our new contract curve is af this one af this one red one and our new equilibrium point is s you can see here at this s point this a s dotted line this one this one a s dotted line represent capital labor ratio in production of cloth and this s f dotted line represent capital labor ratio in production of steel now we will see impact on production of cloth as labor supply increase as we know cloth is labor intensive good in production of cloth we use labor in larger amount so r is our initial equilibrium point and s is our equilibrium when labor supply has increased initially capital labor ratio of cloth is a r when labor supply increase capital labor ratio of cloth is a s you can see this a s line is bigger than a r line which shows as labor supply increase production of cloth also increase so we can say that this theorem basically state that if supply of only one factor increase then output of goods that uses that factor in larger amount will also increase now we will see impact on production of steel as labor supply increase as we earlier discussed steel is capital intensive good in production of steel we require more capital and supply of capital is constant only increase in supply of labor and initially capital labor ratio of steel is r c and when labor supply increase capital labor ratio of steel is s f you can see here s f line is smaller than r c line which shows as labor supply increase production of steel reduce but why as labor supply increase production of steel reduce because as labor supply increase all producers are putting their all efforts and resources on production of cloth because cloth is labor intensive goods and now supply of labor has increased and reduce the production of steel because steel is capital intensive goods and cap supply of capital is constant now we understand this theorem with the help of one more diagram in this diagram on x axis we have cloth cloth is labor intensive goods 
और वाई एक्सिस वी ऑफ स्टील स्टील इज कैपिटल इंटेंसिव गुड्स ए बी इज अवर इनिशियल प्रोडक्शन पॉसिबिलिटी कर पी जीरो पी जीरो इनिशियल प्राइज लाइन आर इज इनिशियल इक्वली बीरियम एट दिस इक्वली बीरियम यू कैन सी वी आर प्रोड्यूसिंग वन हंड्रेड थर्टी यूनिट्स ऑफ क्लोथ एंड ट्वेंटी यूनिट्स ऑफ स्टील नाउ सपोज सप्लाई ऑफ कैपिटल इज ऑलमोस्ट कॉन्स्टेंट ओनली इंक्रीज इन सप्लाई ऑफ लेबर एज लेबर सप्लाई इंक्रीज और प्रोडक्शन पॉसिबिलिटी का शिफ्ट फ्रॉम ए बी टू सी डी सी डी इज अवर न्यू प्रोडक्शन पॉसिबिलिटी कर P1, P1 is new price line. S is new equilibrium point. At this equilibrium point, you can see we are producing 10 units of steel and 270 units of cloth. You can see as labor supply increase, we reduce the production of steel from 20 units to 10, but increase the production of cloth from 130 unit to 270 unit, which is more than double. Because cloth is labor intensive goods, now supply of labor has increased. That's why all producer are putting their all efforts and resources on the production of cloth. But reduce the production of steel because steel is capital intensive goods. Now supply of steel is constant. So we can say that this theorem basically states that if supply of only one factor increase, then output of goods that uses that factor in larger amount will also increase. So this is all about Ibzinski theorem. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.